Hey guys, I am going to show you something different from soap right now. Um, I also make bath fizzies and I will show you how I make them into some amazing shapes. First of all, this is the mix. I used green dye from Nurture Soap and I used Day at the Spa fragrance from Candle Science. So my favorite way to make bath fizzies is to use a press. Now this press is actually made for um, moon cakes, but you can get them on Amazon or eBay or other places like that. And so I chose a lotus. I love the lotus flower for some odd reason. It's my little logo in my shop design. So I've got my mix. I'm making sure when I squeeze it and I drop it, it remains the same shape. Okay, so. I'm going to fill, fill the press, getting rid of some of the excess, and then I'll tell ya, making bath fizzies were like the worst, worst thing to figure out a good recipe. But now that I have my good to go recipe, I use it for every type of bath bomb or bath fizzy that I make. Um, it took a whole entire summer to play around with different recipes that I found and purchased and bought and tried and um, until I had to find one that works for me. And a lot of things can be factors in making a successful bath bomb. Um, humidity and binder and if your mix is too wet, if your mix is too dry, it can crack, it can split, it can they can blow up like mushrooms. I've had it all happen. So finally, at the end of that particular summer, I was pretty happy with the one recipe that I, believe it or not, started with. Modified it just a little bit to add some fun ingredients. So that way you could get the foam and the fizz. And I am sticking with it. So here are my little, little uh, relaxing lotus mini bath fizzies. This is how I do all of my bath bombs now. Um, I prefer to do it this way. I have the sphere shape ones too, and those are really annoying. Um, you have to find a good way to put them flat. Like I use bubble wrap and just all kinds of things, but uh, my preference would be pressed ones. And they also just turn out so nice and professional looking. A lot of times you'll get the ball shape ones that have lines around the middle and I hate that but it's a hard thing to prevent so I'm going to continue on myself but I hope you enjoyed this little little session little break from soap and talk to you later